Hello, yeah. Today on the channel. Yep, yep, yep. It's time for limited. First, we're gonna check out that one message about patch notes, which nobody cares about. We don't even read these messages usually. Unless we're gonna get something for free, in which case we are interested. So premier draft all will be one alchemy is our option. We have we didn't do that well last time, so <laughs> I don't know. We could also play quick draft crimson vow. Doesn't seem as good. So if we want alchemy, let's just go for this draft. We're probably gonna use do you wanna use gems? No, we can just use a draft token. We do have eleven of them. Because we don't have enough gold, but it's okay. So let's go for the draft token. Which we did buy with gold, I think, when it was on sale. So anyway, this is like our second Alchemy Premier Draft. We did one last week, and you all know how that went. We can't really remember, but I believe it was a 3-3. Was it a 3-3? I'm not even sure. Anyway, I think we tried the Mirrodin that week. So let's see what we try this week. Stack a creature, seek a creature, come mana value 1 plus, and put that into the battlefield. I'm not sure how useful this is in limited. This guy is good though. This guy is good. So <laughs> gonna forget about the VAT. VAT is a constructed car. So if we are looking to be in the colors that we're looking to be in, two oil counters. That's kind of interesting. I mean, if we're looking to be in Golgari because of him, we might as well go for Golgari. So we can activate abilities as though they have haste, so as soon as they come into play, they can do something. And we can untap somebody, and we can mill three cards, and we can put small creature into the battlefield. Okay, what is this? Return target for uh, not interested. The rat is okay, this is not good this is also okay this guy is useful people always play him another nature death touch and i think look at the top three cards we don't like any of these actually we're gonna take this three drop well wow, this thing was annoying as hell we died to this but we're not in Simic. The boat actually was much better than we expected, to be honest. As a one-off. As a one-off. I'm not going to play more than one. It worked much better than expected in the last draft. We do have to remember the crew is three. So you need stuff. This guy can crew it. Uh, this guy is not to be underestimated. I'm not sure why he speaks. I guess pick six makes sense. He's not in the top three picks. But I mean, we're gonna get to seven mana, and then if you can't kill it, it's gonna toxic your face very quickly. And he can be blocked by small guys, so. If we get two, we will play two as our top ends. So we still have to look for removal. We are in black and green. So we need removal, that's for sure. Uh, toxic to this card is not that bad. But what, wow, there's another one of these guys? Somebody's gonna go crazy if they're in Simic. We have to take the creature here over that return card. We have to try to make the best of this draft because we used our token. We have been hoarding the tokens because we usually don't get to play draft a lot, just once a week. Canopy or this guy? People use him well, but we need some removal. We haven't picked up any removal so far. <coughs> Guess it's gonna have to be the only creature playable. This is two mana or less? So far we got like nothing with two mana. This is... 
the white one i just gonna go for the land i don't think we want to splash red but i don't think we want to play this either but it is what it is get the hunter's maze if we do have something in red that we want to splash for i'm not sure if you want to go three colors though okay what is next give us something good yes looks like we got paid what is this guy oh this thing kills other creatures return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield it kills our things i think we'd rather go for the land why we want all our creatures to get minus one i don't know what is this thing march towards <laughs> perfection or oh, this is the thing that brings something and then we draft something i think this guy is better i mean it worked for us before i think it's very underestimated yes it is seven mana to equip but once you equip it especially if you put it on a flyer it's just huge plus four plus four is trample is huge and it does put a two two which comes equipped so it's actually six six with trample for six mana so i don't understand what the point is we might have picked it too early like pick two but as we say it worked for us before what is this guy supposed to do whenever you seek that's not for limited wait how how do we not have anything in this pack okay we need some two drops <laughs> so we still need more remover I guess that's a remover spell. You don't take a card. Uh, I think we're gonna have to take this guy over to removal. So our top end is getting filled up. Incubation with three oil counter. Remove oil can create a current creature. That is interesting, to be honest. But I think we like this troll too. But I think we're just gonna take the flying, the two draw flyer. We definitely mo want more small creatures. We gotta be a little bit more aggro, to be honest. We have got to be a little bit more aggro. This guy is four mana. Plague Nurse is probably much better. And we gotta pick up more removal because it's looking really sad right now. Looking very, very sad. Oh, this guy is good. We only have one removal spell. I don't know if you wanna play a draft with just one removal spell. So we gotta pick up more of these guys. I'm not sure if Tyver was the best choice for us. Hopefully somebody passes us another carnivorous canopy. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, we get this guy. He's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. We had a draft with three of him one time. He's pretty good. The toxic three is very good. Okay, we're going to play two of them. Sure. Okay, so top end is finished. Please, no more top end. Uh, we're just going to take the rare here for no reason. <laughs> Sure, take another land. Uh, this is actually in our color, but I don't think we want to play. Come on, removal. This guy is also in our color. I don't think we want to play him either. Come on, bomb. Yes. Yes, we got paid. I don't even know what this thing does, but... Yeah. We got paid. Okay, now we just need removal. Bloated contaminant. This is the second draft we get bloated contaminant. Vat emergency is good. Is this removal? No, this card is good. He's also good. He's decent. I think we're gonna take Vat emergence over all these creatures as a one off. Necrosquito, we already have one. This guy we already have one too. This thing is interesting. Any removal? Yep. I mean, we gotta take the removal. We only have one removal spell. <laughs> As you know, we do not want to get to the third pack and be forced to take removal. Like we are right now. This guy is decent. Uh, we don't need this. 
this guy is not so we need we need a two drop come on we need like two more removal spells we gotta play four and are we getting anything no this guy is decent this guy is not uh we're running out the chances of us getting removal is very low very low one more playing with three removal spells in the deck is just so scary i don't know why people picked up removal so quickly yes this guy is the only thing in our colors come on give us a carnivorous canopy we'll take it we will take it because playing this deck it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna hurt to play with just two removers but you literally want to have like five or six we always have five or six if you have four you can get by you can get by if you have two <sighs> i don't know how we're expected to win games there's just gonna be creatures smashing or other creatures and we don't have a lot of things to deal with flyers that is that is a huge problem that's what's scary about this and we could lose to a random flyer i guess he has reach so we have to play him it does not look like we are getting any more remover spell i think we're gonna take this guy does not look like we are getting a remover spell anytime soon okay so we got option you can have a rich guy or toxic guy we're gonna take another rich guy because we can't get rid of flyers literally okay so we're gonna play this with two remover spell not gonna lie not looking good not looking good doesn't matter what we pick. Does not matter what we pick. I uh, don't care about the rest. Okay. It's gonna hurt. I mean, the deck is not bad. The only thing that's bad is we only have literally two removal spells. If we had four, we would feel happy. If we had five or six, it would be perfect. People just picked removal spells high, or there's just not enough removal spells. I mean, even Carnivorous Canopy in Quick Draft, we picked like three or four of them. But against real players, I don't know, they realize that the card is like literally better than they expected. Because there's flyers in the format, there's lots of enchantments in the format, and there's lots of artifacts in the format. So we're gonna have to try to play an aggro game aggro deck if arena allows us to actually make our deck as usual this thing happens yes please let us make our deck so we can play this draft <laughs> and i'm not sure if we can even play tyvar i'm not sure if we can play him like we kind of went gorgari because of him but he's not game breaking thing planeswalker he's just there to like scare if we went simic it would have been absolutely crazy okay so let's take our stuff that we're not gonna play for sure uh this thing we might play let's just take it off for now this guy is good this guy is good this guy we're gonna think about it this guy is good oh, we don't need this we don't need this this guy is decent we don't need him he's okay He's okay, he's amazing, oh, we need a remover, he's decent. Oh, he's only 3 mana, 3-3, three, three. okay. <laughs> he's also good. Tyvar can just... I don't know what he's gonna do, this guy goes out. This is kind of meh, but we do need flyer. This guy is okay, this guy goes out, this guy goes out. That's kind of meh, play Norse is okay, Reap Skiff is okay. We do have a lot of 3 power stuff. Air Riser Pan is okay, Vat Emergence is a bomb, these guys are bombs, this is a bomb, this is a bomb, good luck, we still have to cut two things, uh, take out these random lands. Mm.
So we gotta cut two creatures. How many creatures do we have? I think we have a lot of creatures. I think we have a lot of creatures. We have a lot of two drops and three drops. Or we can just cut Tyvar in one more creature because him like I don't know why we have that can be activated. We have twenty one creatures only. Okay, that's interesting. Ah Tyvar, Tyvar. He can untap something that may or may not be that useful and bring in to something back, it's just gonna bring one creature. You just cast him as a one time reanimating spell. So, to be honest, I don't think he's gonna do anything in this deck. Fortunately, we went Golgari because of him. And I think we might have to just not play him. Huh? And the artifact that gives stuff toxic. <laughs> Sorry, that thing is good. <laughs> the six mana thing is good actually, so we have an extra creature because of the six mana. We gotta cut one of the top ends maybe. One of the five mana thing. We can also cut Vat, but Vat emergence is too good because we can discard something and then bring it back. <laughs> so Arena doesn't allow us to select a sleeve. Unfortunately, I'm not sure why this is so hard. Okay, let's just, let us choose something. So we have to take out Tyvar. And... After we take out Tyvar, we still have to cut one more card. And it might have to be one of the bigger... Yeah, we want to confirm and go back to building our deck. It might have to be one of our bigger guys. I know the 7 mana 6-7 with Toxic does not seem like such an amazing card. But, at the same time, he's kind of big on the ground. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to give him flying. The flying 4 mana 2-2 two, two thing with the oil counter is kind of meh. But, we don't have a lot of flyers. Okay, can we just get a sleeve and get out of this? We click confirm like 3 times. Okay, we got this sleeve. Okay. So Tyvor goes out and that's also a flyer. We might have to take out these two spiders to be honest actually. We're just gonna concede to flying deck. And instead of the two spiders we can play the injector. I think Jector seems good, so we have enough stuff to we have enough stuff to I'm not sure if this is good four mana two two it's not sound good, so enough stuff to crew this can crew this can crew this guy can crew. <laughs> Oh, this thing also is flying. This stupid thing doesn't look like he is flying. It's so annoying. He's just like sitting on the ground. And... I think... This thing can't crew, but it's not bad. This guy can crew. They can crew. Okay, I think we have enough... Enough crewing stuff. Sorry, Tyvar, you just not gonna make it. So let's see how far we can get with two two removal spells. Oh, God, it's scary to just think about <laughs> going into a draft with two removal spell is incredibly scary, especially in this format. This format is kind of serious. We have a lot of small creatures, so we have to try to trade. I think we have a lot. We have 20 creatures, plus we have the equipment that makes a creature, plus we have the boat. <laughs> so I think we have to 
So we are okay in terms of creatures. We are okay. Which means we should be interested in trading creature for creature. Actually, in terms of flyer, I think we ended up having like four flyers. They're kind of small, but we have like four flyers. <laughs> Including this guy. Watching your opponent goes first, and in this format, going first is clutch. But this guy is not bad. We always thought he's four mana, but he's only three mana. So he's actually much better than we expected. Let's get the Toxic, and we play against another Golgari deck, who doesn't have a 2-drop. What does this guy do? Look at the top 4 cards, we can put a land card. We don't need to. Oh, they're gonna play like that. Okay, I think we don't need to worry about land right now. Let's push, push more Toxic stuff into play. What is this? Rats? Other rats? Don't know what the point of that is. Um, what do we want to cast? I think we're just gonna attack first. You might cast a Vorak now. Okay. Let's get him. Let's get the toxic going. Okay. <laughs> Let's get the toxicity going. <laughs> so this guy can bring back something. What is this? Oh, the thing that comes back. It's toxic, very toxics. Okay. But we have blockers. And we can cast this and get him back. They have more rats? I don't think so. Yeah, let's cast this. Get the Vorak back. Not sure if it was a good idea to get the flyer, but so far we're not doing bad. <laughs> we have five mana, so we can drop two creatures next time. Oh, they actually block with the rat. They're rare. Maybe they have something to bring it back. I don't know. But so far it's not looking good for them. It's looking good for us. Let's not get too excited though. Okay, that guy is okay. That guy is okay. He also has toxic too. I mean, he's not okay, but at the same time. Oh, we cast that guy? Oh, geez, we want to cast. We want to play the land. What on God's green earth are we doing? Hold on. This thing gives plus two, plus two, so you can make him three. Make him really big, actually. No, 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 no. You're playing the wrong thing. Oh, three, three. Uh, I think just gonna make him really huge. <coughs> Attack with him. <coughs> yeah, next time we gotta cast this guy. And if they have another flyer, but they don't. If they cast an artifact, it's, it's game over. Wow, we took it. We took it down. Even with our misplay, even with going second. Took it down, ladies and gentlemen. We took the first game. Uh, What do we want to check out? I think lands are okay, right? 8, 16, 17. Do we to check out anything else? Do, 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 I don't think so. We have so many, like, 3 drops. Okay. 
Actually, we don't need the injector. <coughs> Hold on, we don't need the injector. Because most of our stuff has toxic already. So, would this be better? Look at the top three cards. That'd be better, or it might be better to play... To play... I don't think there's anything else. Okay, let's just trade the injector one more, because we just realized a lot of our stuff actually has toxic. But I guess toxic one, like one more toxic, can't possibly hurt. Now can it? That is the question. It sounds toxic, but we'll see. We'll see how we do. is not looking good for us unless we can top deck actually shoulder and head cleaver is not that amazing discard but I don't think we have anything else to play instead of this as a photo we're gonna keep this and hope to god we top deck a forest okay that's not a forest we still have two more turns to top deck a forest and then get this guy down that's also not a forest okay this is looking this is looking very bad for us. Okay, never you mind. Never you mind. Let's get another forest. Wow. Okay. No land. So that means next land should be... Next card should be a land. What on God's green earth is this? Okay, so we're gonna get attacked by the flyer deck, like we said. Because we don't have stuff to block flyers. Uh, what is most dangerous thing? I think this guy, we want to toxify them. And then we can attack this guy. I'm gonna push the toxification strategy. Can bounce something. But only as a sorcery. Wait, how did they get blue? Oh, they only got blue because of... Oh no, this had one mana. Yeah, okay. And they have to do as a sorcery. It's okay, we smashed him with this guy. Toxic. Toxic. Uh, it'd be nice to get another mana. I guess we can cast this guy. And this guy. Against this deck, it would be nice to have the spiders. That block the rich creature. What is this guy gonna copy our guy? Okay. Congratulations. Copy something. Cast this guy. Cast this guy. That, yeah, we have lots of creatures. We literally have 20 creatures. Plus we have an artifact. Plus we have like other stuff. <sighs> yep. Where is your island, opponent? Not like we actually want you to get an island, but... Wait, they didn't get any toxic stuff yet? What is this guy? He doesn't have toxic. What? No, 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 no. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. They're just getting lucky. Absolutely lucky. Attack. I can't attack because this thing can just block it. Attack with him. We only have 6 mana. We can suck this. Draw a card. Okay. That's good. Uh, which is more dangerous? Toxic guy is more dangerous. <laughs> The toxic guy. It's a more dangerous. We had such a good start. They just got incredibly lucky with the draws. Especially getting the two flyers out. And, I don't know, surviving with the Mycosin Flatis. What? Yeah, we literally have to block. We 
you have to double block, you know, you can just jump block. We still only have six mana, we can only cast one of this thing. Because they just got removal for two of our creatures and... Yeah. Okay, now we actually can cast two things. So let's attack both. I don't know. Maybe they have a bounce spell. They need a bounce spell because they're a seven. And then we can actually cast two things. Whoops. Oh well, I guess they died. They made a copy, but the copy came into play tapped. Well, that was a surprise. That was a surprise win if we ever saw one. I mean, like, we're like gonna attack with only one guy, and then you have to pay attention to opponent's life all the time. He's like seven, he has like no blocker, so what does he have to do? He has a bounce spell? We don't know of any bounce spell in the format. There should be some, but we just haven't seen any. Uh, what do we want to change? Oh, the four mana toxic guy, but it was still okay because the opponent had to deal with him. I think he's so useless. Yeah, this guy was okay because I don't think we want this guy. I don't think we want this guy either. And yeah, to be honest, yeah, we're not gonna change it. Not gonna change it. So we kind of took a chance there with the lands, as everybody noticed. We got that clutch forest. We got the clutch forest. Opponent goes first. So we'll keep this just because we have this crazy guy. No wonder people want to play this guy. This game. And another black deck. No surprise. So this thing actually does something. I don't know what it does, but it does something. Gonna play this. We wanna play this. I'm not sure where we, we can discard to this, just extra lands I think. I can actually discard creature and then bring it back with this. If we have the six seven guy. What the hell is this? If we get a 6-7 guy, we can discard it to this. And then we can do... What can we do? I don't know what's the most dangerous thing. This guy could, could get toxic one. Get more lands. Then we can reanimate it with this. We technically don't need more lands because we got two lands in hand, but thinning out the library is not... Too bad. And next time we can actually cast one guy and we can equip this guy and make him into a toxic threat. He becomes a 3 5. <laughs> How do you do 3 color deck? Death touch. That kind of sucks. Sucks for us. Because our guy doesn't have death touch. But he can't attack. Yeah, it would be nice if we could top deck the 7 mana and discard it to this guy and then next turn you got emergence here. Yeah? One does not have anything. It's not that bad. I don't know what they drafted. Maybe they drafted this guy. What on God's green earth? Okay. Uh, that's really, really bad for us. I think. Of course. Wow. Uh, we don't have any removal. This thing doesn't have <laughs> reach. <coughs> Pass the turn. We have to remove our spell. We have to draw the canopy. Or we have to do the other remover spell. We just die. 
in three more turns. Yep. This guy can This guy also gets plus one. No point in holding back now. There's no point in holding back now. Yep. Yep. We're so dead. We are so dead. I'm not sure if Soul of Phyrexia is going to save us. I guess we can suck the Hunter Mage to draw a car. We literally have two options to kill this. And we have one more turn. Come on, contamination, whatever. Contaminated wings or the other five mana removal. Yes, carnivorous canopy for the love of all that is holy. We're still not out of the wood yet. We are literally not out of the wood yet. Oh, can we suck this? No, we can't. So let's discard this forest. We can bring back next time. We can get the Archfiend. Oh, that is so good. Uh, nothing to do here. Just pass. Okay. But we are at four life. Soon to be a three life. Yeah, we can vet emergence their Archfiend. And can we suck? this to do something extra. I don't think we have enough mana. Oh no, this thing can pump? Oh shit, we did this turn. We are dead this turn, we're not gonna get a chance to... We, we didn't have enough mana to get the Archfiend though. Yeah, we just died this turn. Come on, we have like one more turn! We literally had one more turn to get their Archfiend, and then we would have been okay. Wow, so close. I mean, this is what happens. We only have two removers, and of course, getting four mana, six, six flyer. It's a little bit busted, broken. We would have picked that too, if we actually saw him. We would have picked that too. Four mana, six, six flyer that survives for three turns and he makes us lose life if he didn't make us lose the life if we were like higher life six six life we could have basically got their thing the next turn and then we have a blocker and then we can actually gain life and they lose life like we could have should have one turn away one turn away i mean it is what it is we were one turn away. The losing of the life in that thing is too crazy. Four mana, six, six, and when creatures die, opponent lose two life and you gain two life. Like, what else do you want? Opponent goes first. We don't see any green. But we're gonna try to keep it anyway. Okay, that's not good. Still no green. Of course, he goes down here. Of course he goes down here. And opponent just curves out with first turn, second turn curve. And we have no green, so this is an automatic loss. That's what problem when you lose. That's why we didn't want to lose. Once you lose that one game, you get put in the bracket and you get more losses. So opponent goes first and curves out. Opponent goes first and curves out. And we have literally not gotten even one forest again. Not even one forest. What? 
and another loss to a three land opponent which gets out their whole deck literally on three lands. One has first strike so we can't block, the other one is flying so we can't literally do anything. Yep. Okay, so automatic loss is automatic loss. We had carnivorous canopy to basically kill this. This guy just... <laughs> I don't know. They win on three lands. <laughs> Why would they keep this guy back? See, it's like, we don't want to lose to these bad players. You attack with this too, because like, what are we going to block this? And like, take everything else? Doesn't make any sense. At all. It's not make any sense at all. Yeah, 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 of course. You drew all your one drops. Yep, all the one drops and two drops. Only three mana, and we literally have no green. Okay, yeah, I just F this game. F these free wins, giving opponent free wins. After we lost that one game, we know it's going to be bad. Because we got, we won two rounds in a row and Arena still has us on the auto-loss bracket. That happened for the past few drafts, except for the first draft. The quick draft that we actually won. Everything else is just going downhill. Because it is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, we got the forest that one game. So Arena's like, you think we're gonna give you another forest? No, this game, you're not getting anything. You should learn to mull. And then if you mull, it's, well, pretty much gonna be an auto loss as well. So can we possibly go first? Yes, and we have, yeah, where was this last game? And where was this, like, any games? We shouldn't have lost that close game. Because once you lose, like I said, the arena just, I don't know, it just puts you in the loss bracket. I don't know how to explain. And now we get flooded. Getting flooded, getting, getting flooded. Yep. Unlimited flood. So this is how you know we are on the losing streak. Because we lost the one game that was close and then we literally immediately just got <laughs> color screwed. Yeah, this thing on turn three is just absolute garbage. Like it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Four lands in a row. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know you're supposed to lose drafts? I mean, the previous, like two drafts ago, we literally flooded four games in a row. This time we didn't, but this game we literally kept a four land hand. Like we play three, we have three cards to play with. We have three cards to play with. Literally three cards to play with. This thing just gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, this thing is insane. This thing is absolutely insane. Yeah, because we need more lands. I think we just get this guy down to block. I don't know, it doesn't matter what land we need. Don't need any land. We have to keep this for something bigger. Yeah, this thing is ridiculous. If you don't kill it. Every turn just makes X1. Like 3-1, 4-1, 5-1, 6-1. Yeah, we have to kill this guy. And of course they got it on the third turn. And of course you don't have anything to basically... We can't even race it. Like, they just get a free creature every single turn.
Wow, five effing lands in a row. Come on. Like, they're not even, like, joking at this point. They're literally not even joking. Yeah, we're just gonna suck the pussy this. Like, they're literally not even joking at this point. We drew five lands. We even got an extra land from this guy. Like, all we drew were literally lands. How is this humanly possible? How? We have literally played like four la four known land cards and we have played nine lands. What is this? Yeah, okay, more aggro. And of course you get this on the turn, turn three because why wouldn't you? Just attack with everything. Stop wasting time, this is your free game. Why would you attack with this only? Yeah, attack with everything. Why we lose to these bad players? I mean, they managed to draft this. Congratulations, we would have picked it first turn too. Oh look, we have another creature that's not actually a land. Uh, I think we don't have any options. Just attack. Uh, make this guy bigger. He's a 4-6. Pass the turn. I still don't think we can survive. Obviously. And of course they get more creatures. Because why would they not get more creatures? They're stuck on 5 lands. Okay, 6 lands. But we have 10 lands. 10 lands for the same thing. 5-1. Jeez. I can block you for one turn, but of course they gain three life. Mm-hmm. About damn time. But we still can't attack. We still can't attack. Because we're just gonna die, we're a 4 life. Actually, we're gonna be a 3 life. And if they just attack us, I think we're dead. We only have 2 blockers. Yeah, we're dead because we drew our lands. There is no chance for us to do anything in Arena in this format. It's one of the cursed formats for us. Some sets we do really good, some sets we are basically cursed. Oh, well, this thing is flying. Yeah, we somehow have to deal with flyers now. Let's just attack. I think we might die, but let's just attack anyway. They might block. I'm not sure how we can get out of this with all the lands. I'm not sure how we can get out of this. And of course they have Eternal Wanderer too because don't have having that 3 drop artifact that gives you free creatures is not enough. You need to also have a bomb planeswalker in the same deck to literally make sure that there's no chance for us to win after the first couple of wins. We got locked down. This has been the most Incredible, incredible rigged games ever. Absolutely incredible. So there you have it, another short draft video, courtesy of Arena Rigged Games, where you basically win two games, and then the third game, if you don't win, you get put into the losing bracket, and then you just lose, because you get mana screwed, one game, actually color screwed, we didn't get a forest the whole game. And 
you get flooded by drawing five lands. We got an extra land plus four. Five lands. Five lands. Time walk. Free time walk for the opponent. We basically had three non land cards and like eight or nine land cards. After we kept a three land hand or four land hand. Absolutely disgusting rig games in Arena. Absolutely disgusting. So thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe for more MTG content videos.